we are going to go over step by step how to create inseam pockets. You can find these pockets on the sides of dresses, skirts, pants. It could even be in the side of a tote bag. These are called inseam pockets because we're going to sew the pocket in the seam, hence inseam pockets. They also get referred to as side seam pockets because a lot of times you want to put your pockets on the side seams of something because, well, that's where your hands go. So let's get to it. You might think this is going to be tricky, but it's actually super easy. So follow along and I'm going to give you some great tips and pointers to have professional side seam inseam pockets. For demo purposes today, I have two pieces of fabric and this here in the middle is going to be our seam. I also have two pieces of fabric cut out for the pockets and you're going to notice that the pockets look like a teardrop shape and when you place them together they also look like a heart. So if you're sewing inseam pockets from a pattern you already have these are the pieces you need to look for and if you want to add these to an existing garment you totally can you just open up the side seam and you just trace out a shape that looks something like this. So my pocket is about 10 inches long on the straight side and then I just made a teardrop shape. So to make these pockets, we want to do right sides together and we need to make sure that they are both the same distance down from the waist of our project. And for this demo, I'm going to be doing two inches down from the top here. Now a rule of thumb of where you should place them on your actual garment is about five inches down from the waist. But this differs depending on the person and the body and all that. So make sure you put your hand at your side and see exactly where you would like your pockets to start on your garment. And just make sure that you're aligning them up in the same position on all sides. All right, enough talk, let's get sewing. The first step is going to be sewing the side of this pocket down. So a half inch seam allowance, start at the top of the pocket. Sew all the way down to the bottom of the pocket. And we're gonna do that on both sides. Don't forget to back stitch. Back stitch the bottom of the pocket and cut. Now we're going to do the same thing to the other pocket bag. Back stitch and cut. So the side of our pocket is sewn onto our seam here and I've ironed it nice and flat, making sure my seam allowance is ironed towards the pocket. Because what we're going to do next is a nice little edge stitch on the pocket. And it's really important that this goes on the pocket, catching the seam allowance below. This is going to help keep the pocket towards the inside of the garment and preventing it from wanting to pop out while you're wearing it. So what we're going to do is stitch an eighth of an inch away from the seam that's holding the pocket onto the fabric. And we're going to back stitch and just sew all the way down, securing that pocket to the seam allowance. Now on to the other side, and don't forget your stitch is an eighth of an inch away from the seam. Back stitch and cut. So you can see we have our edge stitch on the pocket side and it's holding down our seam allowance. And now we only have one step left. See, it really is that easy. Now we're gonna place right sides together and keep your pocket open. Now it's gonna be really important that everything lines up at the top of the pocket. So you don't want them skewed from each other. We want them directly on top of each other. So what I like to do is hold this together, pull it back a little bit and make sure both of the pocket pieces are directly on top of each other. So now we're gonna pin down the side seam, around the pocket and down the side seam. Remember to put the head of your pin towards the outside of your seam. So now we're all pinned up and we are ready to sew. And when we sew this, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna sew down a half inch into the pocket. We're gonna pivot and turn, sew around the pocket bag, come all the way back up to the side seam. Make sure you're coming up your half inch. And then we're gonna pivot and sew down the side seam. We're gonna back stitch at the top. Now when we're coming down to where the pocket is starting, you can see your original seam and your edge stitch here. We need to make sure that we are one stitch outside of that original seam. Otherwise, what's gonna happen is you are gonna see this little mess of threads and intersections up here. So we need to make sure that we are one stitch outside of it to the left. 
So I'm one stitch outside of it. I'm coming a half inch down into the pocket. I'm leaving my needle in, I'm lifting up my foot and I'm turning. Now we're getting to where the pocket is ending and you wanna do the same thing. Before you turn, make sure your stitch is outside of that original seam line. Also make sure everything's nice and lined up. If you need to lift it up and check, go ahead, do that. It's gonna save you some seam ripping later. Needle in, foot up and turn. Back stitch at the end and cut. Now that you have your pocket sewn on, it should look something like that. And now when we open up our top fabric, we have our inseam pocket. You cannot see it from the outside of your project, but you've got an opening here with your pocket. Pretty cool, huh? We did it, we sewed a side seam pocket, an inseam pocket, whatever you wanna call it. And now we can Put our hands right inside of our pocket and nobody will even know it's there. It's hidden. Thanks so much for watching Sew Anastasia today on how to sew that inseam hidden pocket. If you have any questions on it, leave a comment down below and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. And if you're not already a subscriber to Sew Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And make sure you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, all the social media, whatever ones you use so that way we can stay connected and creative together. And if you'd like to see a specific technique video, make sure you leave that down below in the comments so that way I can add it to my list and make it happen for you. And don't forget, I teach sewing classes in my design studio, so make sure you check those out at sewingthestage.com. And you can also take virtual private lessons and we have a whole online sewing academy coming soon. We're working very hard on it to get it out for you as soon as possible. Thanks so much for watching today. Bye.